beating the Northern Division by a game and a half. We have J2 on the mound. They have Evergreen Hiker, who is 3-1 with her 3.69 ERA. Put Travis the Unknown in for him. I know he's getting hurt, so let's put Azur in. And Lethal's actually ready to come back in, but I don't know if I want to bring him in just now. Or maybe we should. Boxic has had a nice outing, so we'll leave him there. Let's go with that. We just gotta... All right, we're the home team again. The Chompers are coming to visit us at Apple Field. They got some players that are hyped up and some that aren't. Heave downtown, Sweet Anger at Max Hightower. Lead off with the Chompers. Check out these sweet uniforms they're wearing. I like the powder blues. Let's see what J2 can pull out tonight. Oh, let's pop up. Novamens is going over for it. And that will be one out. Well, that's what every one of our pitchers have said, J2, is if they can get a little bit of offense. Uh oh, that one's. Oh, a diving catch by Why So Slow. Very nice. Number 14, the second base. That brings up Max Hightower. And J2 will scoop that one up with his white glove of purification and throw him out on first. Why so slow? Reaver Axis and SKS lead us off. I like the disco music that Why So Slow picked. Two balls. There's a strike. That was hit well, but it goes foul out of play. Two and two. And that one's popped up into shallow right field. And the second baseman goes all the way back to get that. Here's Reaver Axis. He's teetering on 300 batting. Takes a strike. That was kind of low. One and one. Fouls that one off. It'll be one and two. And he'll miss on that one. Oh. Now batting, number 22, the second base. Right, J2. Big swing and a miss there. Ah, oh, SKS falls one and two in the count. Hit well, but foul again. He's just a little behind. Ground ball, third baseman, Sweet Anger scoops it and throws. And that will end the inning. We go to the second, still 0-0. Zero zero. Dan Tropicus, Dark Wolf, uh-oh, and Carmel Gray. I forgot Dark Wolf was on the Chompers, but we're going to see him today. Uh-oh, he was fooled. Travis the Unknown playing center field today in for Captain Pete. Makes the catch, one away. And that brings up Dark Wolf. He's batting 121 on two RBIs this year. Ground ball, reverse scoop, throw. There's Carmel Gray. First Wing on that screw ball and a miss.
Oh, that's over top of Lethal's head, and that's going to be a base hit with two outs here in the top of the second. Now bad number two, the short stuff. An interesting stance she has there. Oh, nice throw, but already in there. Reaver made the catch, just couldn't apply the tag. Oh, that one's hit. Why so slow? Goes back for it and makes the catch, and that will retire the side. So no danger there. Travis the Unknown leads off. Lethal D, Feline, and Aaron Boxicus. Now batting number three, the center field. Two and oh, two and one. Three and one to Travis the Unknown. That was borderline. And that's going to fall, and that's going to be a base hit for Travis the Unknown. That brings up Lethal D Feline. That. Now it's fouled off the grips and sud sign. Oh, and lethal gets hit. Coming off the DL and takes one off the hip. Let's hope she's okay. That brings up Aaron Boxicus with two on. Oh my God, I should have. And that was hit straight back to the pitcher, and she'll have none of that. She's been watching film. She knows what we're capable of, and that brings up Novamans with one out. Two on. Mm. God, those, those are dropping. She's got some junk. Ground ball, shortstop picks it. It's over to first, second, and then the first double play ends the inning. We go to the third. Smoke Millstream. I would definitely hate to see the numbers of how many people we leave on base this season. Okay, game. That was a 90 mile per hour miss changeup. Reaver's gonna have a heck of a throw here and makes it one out. Pitcher Evergreen Hiker. Just step in the box. Amazing defensive stance there earlier. Not so much handy with the bat. Oh, she'll crush that one. But Solon Novemans is out there in the field and will make the catch. And we go back to heave downtown at the top of the lineup. That one's popped straight up. Azure Alliance is underneath it. I think I'm going to lower myself. Just put me more in with the screen. I feel like my monitor has shifted. All right, Azure Alliance batting 205. Hey, Anoni, what's going on? Two and O to Azure Alliance. Reno. That's a four pitch walk, and the Larry Ballers get one on base. And that brings up the pitcher, J2. His little godly music. J2 hits one. If it lands in the gap, it could be dangerous. Oh, he dropped it. They're going to send the runner home. Oh, he's so slow. Oh, and they got him saved. What a slide. And they go up one nothing. Oh, my God. He was dead to rights, and somehow he, sl he slid right in there. Holy crap. Uh -oh. 
that, that they're gonna catch that. Woo, lads, how that got in there, I'll have no idea. Now back, number 54, the shortstop. Reaver crushes that one, and that's gonna put runners on the corners with one out. That brings up SKS. And that's a base hit. That's going to bring in a run. J2 will score from third. Two nothing. Larry Ballers. Runner on first and second. Here comes Travis the Unknown. He's one for one today, batting over 300 on the season. Ooh. Hiker goes inside. Oh, and that's going to be a pop up. Left fielder comes in and makes the catch. So two out still with two on. And that's going to bring up Lethal D. Feline. Who was hit by a pitch on her first at bat. And that one is crushed. It's heading toward the wall. Does it have enough on it? Is Lethal back? Three run shot. The ballers go up five to nothing. Holy cow. Don't hit her. She hits back. Fourth home run of the season, eighth RBI. The ballers are going now. Now batting, the third base. Oh, Aaron Box. Oh, she's rattled. That's it. One and one to Boxicus. And he'll pop up 96 power. So high, the camera doesn't know how to focus, but it finally comes down. It is the heart of the lineup. Sweet Anger steps into the box. Ground ball, lethal gets it, but it's foul. Ooh, called strike on the outside corner. J2 sets her down. Max Hightower, 0 for 1 today. Foul that one off. That one smoked. Oh, and Boxicus misplays it. And it will go into the outfield for a base hit. So that puts one on. And here is Dan Tropicus, who is rattled. Swung on three pitches. That's out number two. J2 starting to warm up a little. Now batting number 13, the center fielder. Uh-oh. That one's going deep. That was an anticipated, and that is a two-run shot for the Chompers. Was that Dark Wolf? Dark Wolf's first home run of the season and fourth RBI. And you know what? That was a high pitch, and it said anticipated down the middle. That was nowhere near down the middle. Game's just like, we got to score a couple of runs. So we're going to score the runs. Uh-oh. Called strike on the outside. If Dark Wolf was in chat, he'd be crazy right now. Dolan Novamins comes up 0 for 1 on today, batting 234 on the season. Evergreen Hiker, she is tense. That's two balls. Underneath that one pops it up to the second baseman. And brings up Azure Alliance. Two balls. Reno. Oh, come on. Hey, go base. 
Brings J2 up. He's 0 for 1, but he is on fire. Two and one. Two and two. He fouls that one off. That one's hit well, but not enough. He just lacks the power. That's going to be two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. Why so slow stepping in the box? And that's going to be a base hit to left field. That's going to keep two on with two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. And I believe that brings up Reaver, who's one for two today. drops it can be danger center fielder on the run makes the catch it wasn't random it was it was an inside high fastball that can be taken out utah dixon dixon huh that one's popped up boxicus going back for it and that'd be one out if joe j2 can hold the fort down we'll be all right smoke millstream steps in And lethal went for it. Couldn't keep it. And that lets one on. And that brings the pitcher, Evergreen Hiker, up. They're going to let her bat. Oh, and J2 almost turned two there. But that's two outs here. And that brings up the top of the lineup. Heave downtown. Oh my God, she was so lost on that one. That changed my pitch. It was there, then it shot over a little bit. But Travis the Unknown is underneath it, and that will bring the top of the fifth to an end. No damage. The Larry Ballers are keeping the lead 5-2. to two. SKS, Travis the Unknown, and Lethal Feline all have hits on the day. Now batting, number 22, the second baseman. I don't always swing at the first pitch, Reaver. That one is crushed! Oh my god, stay! 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 Yes. Home run! <laughs> is that Pete doing this? <laughs> I'm gonna have to clip that. That was awesome. Fifth home run of the season, 15th RBI. That juice that I'm on is really paying off. And Evergreen, she is really rattled. Welcome aboard. Sauce too much. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Hey, look at Fork. I saw where you followed as well. Thank you so much. Three pitches, three balls. We're just going to scratch our nose on this one. Welcome aboard. And that's going to be a base hit the center. If it drops, the center fielder doesn't get there. Evergreen is really rattled. That's going to bring up Lethal Feline. Home run, three RBIs, and hit by a pitch earlier today. I tried to steal. I smashed the button. Nothing happened. Get down. There we go. 3 0 to Lethal. That one's hit well, but not enough. It's going to fall into foul territory. And no tag up on that one as the right fielder got it in. That brings up Boxicus. He's tense. And Boxicus lays into that one. It's got a chance. Untense that man right now. Larry Ballers pulling it on. 393 feet, his third home run of the season, sixth RBI. Ballers, where has this been all season? And they're bringing out Evergreen Hiker, and they're going to bring in Flavio Fervor.
You gotta give them time, dog. We they they go a little slow. That's a bouncer. Shortstop Utah Dixon. She's gonna scoop that up, throw it the first. Two outs. Is there alliance? They'll step in. Ooh, a little late on that one. Nice power though. Oh my god, what a terrible power swing. I don't even know what happened there. The ballers get three. They're up eight to two. Let's see if they can hold the chompers down. The chompers are first in their division, so don't count them out. We'll see if J2 can hold the waters here. That one's popped up. Travis the Unknown going over for it. One out. I gotta go back and watch the Pete Evans. <laughs> I gotta make that into a GIF because that's. I bet that looks amazing. Uh oh, ground ball. Lethal picks it up, steps on the base. Lethal having an amazing day. Now batting number nineteen, the left fielder. Bowed off. I don't know if Pete's here. Grimmith, we've scored lots of offense today. I don't know what's happened. I'm going to have to take a picture of this lineup because it's been freaking awesome. Now batting number two, the pitcher. I just be quiet so J2 can enjoy his music. One and one to J two. Mm. Oh, I was right on that. Now batting number forty seven, the left. I don't know. Why so slow? Takes ball one. Pete, we saw you had a seizure in a dugout. We were worried about you. That's a ground ball. There's no way we're going to outrun that. We're just too slow. And why so slow is one of our fastest players. That brings up Reaver. He's batting one or 293. He's one for three today. I'll take ball one. That ball's hit. Second baseman, Max Hightower, scoops it and throws, and that will end the sixth. We head to the seventh, still eight to two. Dark Wolf, who has the only offense today for the Chompers, leads off Carmel Gray and Utah Dixon. Now batting, number 13, the center fielder. Who would have thought Dark Wolf would come back to... Oh my God, not again. Not again. Come on, no villains. Number three, the first baseman. What a curveball by J2 there. Fouls off that screwball. What a terrible placement of that. Oh my God, and a base hit there, and that brings in Utah Dixon, who is somehow locked in, but 0 for 2 in the game. J2 to first, Reaver to first, or the second to the first, and a double play, and that will in retire the side. 8 2 still, Larry Baller's looking to add to it. Now batting number 22, the second base. I, I saw that, Travis. I posted it in Discord. It was nasty. Oh, I was just a little, little ahead of that one. And SKS rattles that one in the center field. That is another base hit. So the leadoff runner here in the bottom of the seventh gets on. Now back, number three. Oh, uh, yeah, Pete, if you want to flash the Discord up there for some of the new people in stream, that would be awesome. Travis the Unknown in there, one and one. SKS goes for the steal, and he's in there. So a runner in scoring position now. And that one's hit. That is going to move the runner to third. So some nice 
base management by the manager there, and that brings up lethal D feline. One for two today, a home run and hit by pitch. Let's see if, oh my God, he goes after her again. Let's see if she can bring in the run. Two and one. That was crushed, they almost killed me. That one smashed if it gets over the center fielder's head. Why did my runner go? Why did my runner go? I Should have been a sack fly, but it's not because he went. I even hit the button to stop. I smashed down the right analog. But that's not going to matter because that's going to bring in the run there. It's going to be 9-2, to two, the Larry Ballers. Novamans. That was right down the pipe. And another stolen base. One and one. And that one's going to go. Oh, Utah Dixon, a throw. And that will end the seventh. The ballers pick up one more. Bottom of the lineup here for the Chompers. Where has this ballers team been all year? Nice pitch by J2. That one's fouled off. Right three called on that swing. Flavio Fervor. Oh, they're taking him out and bringing in Conter de Orange as the pinch hitter. Lots of contact on this gentleman. J2 trying to pitch around him. Uh-oh, that one's hit well. For somebody who just has contact, that one looks like it's going to go, and it is off the wall. Well played by Novamans. It's going to be a double, though. We'll see you later. How you doing? Heave downtown. Oh, is, they're putting in a pinch runner. So they're really trying to get some runs on the board here. Oh, that one's popped up. Why so slow on the run? Why so slow makes the catch. Two outs here in the top of the eighth. Baller's still up 9-2, but the Chompers trying to get something done. Here comes Sweet Anger. She's got a court case on Tuesday after a domestic abuse report. Beat up all three of her boyfriends. Still foul that one off. One and Two and one the count. Big swing and a miss. <laughs> and that's going to probably drive in a run. I don't think Travis has the arm. Oh, and she goes to second on that. And so the Chompers get one. Let's see if J2 can finish this inning. That one's fouled off. Oh, that was a called strike somehow. Nice swing. That will probably be the end of the day for J2, but he has done his work, and they're going to bring in Jess Hugo. Is there alliance? He's 0 for 1 today, but he's drew two walks. That one smoked. A base hit in the right field. Nicely timed. Nicely hit. And the leadoff runner once again gets on for the Larry Ballers. They've done that all day. All right, let's take out J2, and we'll put in Ballas as the pinch hitter here. And that one's hit. A dive. Get there, get there. And he'll move the runner up. That's all you could probably ask for. Here's why so slow. 197, one for four today. No, Anoni, does that answer your question? That one's hit down the line. It's a fair ball. That moves the runner again, but we're so slow we can't ever, ever outrun those. Here's Reaver, one for four. 
A base hit here would knock in another run. And that one's going, but I think the center fielder is going to settle underneath that, and that will end the eighth. We go to the ninth. Uh, we'll bring out Cayman. It's not a save situation, but we'll see what he can do. J2 is done. His, uh, ooh, nice strike out there hitting the corner for Cayman. Here's Dark Wolf. He's kind of been the hero for the Chompers today. Oh, but Lethal, Lethal deep feline with the dive takes the hit away. And we go to the last chance for the Chompers, Carmel Gray. Oh, and Cayman scoops that. That's out number three in the Larry Ballers. They feel the taste of victory. It has been a while, but my lord, they get one. An amazing offensive performance, 11 hits with nine runs to boot. <laughs> Thank you, Grimith. Appreciate that. It's like a combined or a six hit outing. Thank you, Z. Season high. Is that our season high? 11 hits? We play up the competition. We just play down the crappy teams. Let me see here. I'm going to write this down. Because for some reason, I think Travis in that spot is really well. He's not a power hitter, but he keeps the inning going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Okay. What a time to be alive. J2 picks up his win and he'll move up to two and two on the year. A nice outing, eight innings, five strikeouts, six hits, one earned run, and he gave up that one home run to Dark Wolf. And his ERA falls down to 184. Cayman comes in, picks up a good inning of work. No save on that one. SKS was your player of the game, Aaron Boxicus, and then J2 John Jeremy. Obviously, today was a good day to have the number two in your number. Uh, as we got 22, 23, and 2 as your players of the game. So if you're playing the pick three at home, there are your winning numbers: 22, 23, and 2. J2, there's pitchers in Real Major League that are like that. All right, so let's see how our division shapes up now. Oh, the Crocs taking an L. That's real. Cockatoos losing to the wide loads. Oh man. Venom and the Finches. It's weird seeing some of these teams we played now and how they come out with some of, the, of these other ones. B Wolves winning. There's the Herbosaurs. We lost to them, but hey, they picked up a big win over the Overdog, so maybe they're turning their season around. Oh, oh, the swoops with another win. Ah, oh, we're going to have to compete with them now. The Chompers coming back after us and winning against the Sirloins. So we are two and a half games back of the Nemesis, and the Swoops have a half game on us. 